good evening. I'm Rich Baritone. Last week, a significant Sneediological discovery was made by an excavation team from Sneedville Community College under the direction of Dr. Joey Schutzstein, a find far beyond merely historic proportions. Unfortunately, last week's arrest and jailing of Tyree Sneed and the subsequent end of World War Sneed kept this story off the front pages where it rightly belonged. We are going to correct this oversight tonight. Dr. Schutzstein, welcome again. Thank you, Rich. What did your team uncover? Rich, what we found was a channel with perfectly preserved artifacts from the Spreaker Age. We know that Tyree Sneed simulcasted almost all of the Spreaker content onto various YouTube channels during the Spreaker Age, but many of these channels have been lost to memory or the content has been deleted. To find a Spreaker archive in such perfect condition would be significant at any point in time, but to find this at the end of World War Sneed is priceless in both a historical context and as content that can be used by Sneedville editors to create war movies. So what is the name of the channel your team has to f*** killer? That just rolled off your tongue, didn't it? I don't like the name any more than any other decent person does, but it is a historical fact that the name of this channel is Nicola, and I will call the channel by its name. Say it, Rich. No. So, let's bring the channel up on the screen. First of all, you can see that this channel only has 99 subscribers at this time, all of whom seem to have forgotten about the channel. This does not indicate world domination of media, rather a lone rabid wolf howling into a void. Did you expect to find these videos? No, we didn't. The Spreaker Age was notable for his lack of face time as he was obsessively simulcasting these audio files to YouTube. There are only four videos on this channel. Two of these videos prove that he will not do well in his new environment, and in the other two he claims ownership of random cars in a motel parking lot. And here they are. The following video shorts are called Untitled, Tyrese Need Owns 14 Vehicles, I Win, Tyrese Need 10-0 Underground Boxing, Calling Out Everyone to Fight, and BMW 16 Gangs to Shit, nigga. You just said it, Rich. Shit. Ain't nobody fucking with me. He's really going to get beaten in jail, isn't he? Yes. Even someone like myself, who hasn't been in a fight in 50 years, can see that Tyree Sneed is not a fighter. Tyree Sneed leaves his jaw exposed 100% of the time. That he was not put to sleep in this video says more about his opponent's incompetence than Tyree Sneed's inept boxing skills. What of the audio files? Is there any sort of obsession or pattern of delusion that stands out to you? We can't really say at this time. We weren't prepared for the sheer volume of audio we found in this dig. We can say that the content is extraordinarily unfocused, even for Tyree Sneed. It's really all over the place. 
You've selected three speakers for us tonight. What, if anything, is the significance of these? There is nothing significant about what we are going to hear tonight other than the fact that these audio files even exist, which is of far more importance than anything Tyrese Need says in them. And here is our first speaker tonight. Tyrese Need is the Fast and the Furious come to life. So anyway, people, I'm about to go into work right now in a little bit. Um, you want to give me a coffee, probably. Oh. Fucking left backside is still fucking hurting. But I don't know, I'd already gone and gotten checked out like last week, but it's probably just muscles and shit. I'm still taking fucking creatine occasionally, still working out. Stronger than ever. And uh like I said, man, my platform, my platform is going to remain positive. Um, and it's just crazy, man. Like, all the real people is, is riding with me. You know what I mean? They like my content. They like what I'm doing. They like everything I'm doing in reality. I mean, literally Tyree Sneed is like Dom and Fast and the Furious come to life. Literally. Like, I drive and get, I, I buy all the fucking sport cars, fast cars, ride the shit out of them, I'm doing all the real business independently, I'm making shit happen on my own, you know what I mean, you got people that want to hate, well, that's cute, you know, but, like I said, um, when I get a chance, it might be when I get out of work, if I feel up to it, um, I'm gonna start going down the list, so I'm gonna start dictating what the shows are beforehand you'll see the titles um through the uh, through the speaker and then I'm gonna actually do the shows like live so like I said I already listed four on there so we're gonna get to all of them um probably won't be in the same day then again it might be it all might just turn into one show but you know I'm just going to start thinking of topics, and then we're going to get right into it, you know. But I'm not going to play this fucking game with people, man. Like I said, I'm a real nigga. If people want to see me and pull up and they got anything to say, they come see me. Nobody will come see me. I'm not playing this fucking game with y'all. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I'm doing well. I'm good. Always. And uh, that's it, man. I get out and make it happen. You know what I mean? And I'm proud of it. I'm proud of myself, and I'm happy. You know what I mean? And ain't nobody going to ruin that for me. So, like I said, my, my oil taxes are paid for the year. Price of oil just went up again more um, because of employment rates in the U.S. I just saw the article right now. Um, it's at like 55 damn near or some shit. Anytime oil is going up, that's a good thing for me, man. So, I mean, it's like I say, I mean... I got a Mercedes that put 13K in two black on black, straight out of men in the black and shit, like fucking five luxury vehicles as of right now. And like I said, I own more than that. You got people who fucking broke contract and got fucked, and I'ma go over that too. So it's all good with me, man. I'm doing well, I'm winning, getting the best of everybody as usual. That's what Tyrese Need does, and like I said, I'm like the real fucking thing, so. That's why it's just crazy that all these bitches fronting. <laughs> Other than that, I'm not going to recognize anything people are saying, man. I get more pussy than any man has ever existed. I'm not concerned about any of this fucking bitch shit they pulling. You know, but I'll talk to y'all later, man. I'm going to keep on killing shit. Going to make some cash in a minute. It's sad, really. Pitiful. A waste of life. To think of what Tyree Sneed could have done with the hundreds of hours he wasted making these speakers should make anyone thankful for their own lives, however bad they may be. You're absolutely right, Doctor. The first thing I'm doing when I get home tonight is I'm going to pet my ferret. The next speaker is called You Can't Conquer a Superhero. The Travis County Jail says he's wrong. It certainly does. And now, You Can't Conquer a Superhero. It's just insane to me, bro. I mean, I've, I've, I've done everything a motherfucker 
to do. Killed everything. And they act like I'm trying to please someone that I don't even fucking know and don't care about your opinion or your hate. People today don't even have opinions anymore. They have hate. That's all they have. You know what I mean? Everybody's so caught up in their own commotion, bro. I'm staying out the fucking way. Staying in my lane. You know what I mean? Which happens to be the gangsta lane. The shit y'all can't fucking ever come into or you die. You know? Like. I just think it's so funny, man. So, I mean, what's up to all these bitches out there? What's up? What's up with y'all? Y'all was talking all this shit. You know what I mean? You got motherfuckers still making videos that make no sense. He gonna do that for the rest of his life. Waste his bitch ass life think I give a fuck or I'm paying any attention I don't pay no attention I care less <laughs> living life so like I said he might end up selling my trailer and I'll make $1,500 you know it's not like we're in a huge rush for everything but I'm telling you the minute if, if that trailer sells and I get that call it's like good news like it's it's just a rat bro like you gotta understand man my success has nothing to do they want to attach themselves to my success and hate on my success every time my success has nothing to do with anybody but me you know what i mean if you're upset about my success i think that's something you should face but they don't want to you know i don't really care it's none of my business to be honest you know but like i said i just think it's funny because either way you figure it I'm still comfortable here. I'm still able to live. I'm still able to enjoy my life. And it's just so funny because you don't always want to be in a position where you have a whole bunch of fucking money, bro, because everybody has their fucking hands out. So that's why I think it's so weird because your society's a bunch of fucking leech ass bitches with no fucking spine. You know? And like I said, I mean, I'm, I'm in superhero school. Literally, like, I'm not. study released by NASA on this shit, and y'all is worried about hating on the superhero. Like, let's just call it what it is. You're hating on the superhero, but your hate's not doing nothing. Like, your hate ain't kryptonite, bitch. I don't think you understand it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're gonna have to find the kryptonite. I mean, y'all keep acting like the bitches I fuck is my kryptonite. Now, the bitches I fuck is the bitch I fucked. That's all that is. You know what I mean? Everything I'm doing is what I'm supposed to do. So that's what I'm saying. They acting like they playing some psychological game. The only psychological game you playing is with yourself. You motherfuckers are weird. You're retarded. You're, you're, you're sad sacks of shit. You're depressed. You hate your life. You know what I mean? And y'all can't accomplish nothing or do nothing. You know? Bro, like I said, you can't conquer a superhero. I don't know how y'all haven't figured that out by now. Like, I can't believe that people can still walk around and show their motherfucking face after hating on me. I really can't. Like, you people is really an embarrassment, bro. Acting like you gangster because you hate. Acting like, like, you know what I mean? Like, like I told you right now, this little spit that's outside right now. Whatever. It's like, yeah, you got a cigarette? Wait a minute, I thought you spits were online talking about that I begged for cigarettes. What's up with that? But I got a pack on me right now. What's, what's up with that? This spick just asked me for a cigarette. I guess he's not in your database? What happened? I thought I thought y'all accounted and spoke for, for everyone in reality. Because you're delusional and you speak for nobody in reality. And reality's totally different than the picture you're trying to paint to no one because you don't have a platform and nobody fucking fucks with you. Kind of weird, right? All right. So, yeah, he asked me for a cigarette, bitch ass nigga just sitting there all weird, like, with that weird ass energy, you know what I mean, and then it's just weird because they all act like they doing something, like they have this fake ass, like, look on their face, like they smiling or like they happy about something, nigga, you begging for a cigarette next to a fucking hospital, like you're clearly not doing very fucking well, so what's with this fake shit, do you know what I'm saying, like, it's, it's crazy because these spicks know they have a ticket to everything now. Like, they know that, like, this country has been completely destroyed. 
So you spick just have every opportunity because you just spick suck spick dick and it's just spick hell spick. That's what this fucking country has become. I don't need Trump to do anything for me as far as this country is concerned. I do it all myself. That's the difference between me and the public. You know what I mean? Like I said, like, I'm going to work and build my platform, you know. Um, may I maybe start going at people, as y'all call it, and playing your little game? I might, if it's going to afford some views and make some money, you know. But I've never had to leech. I do my own thing, you know. And if I talk about somebody and say the facts, it's because it's something I really want to do and I know is righteous and makes sense. And I truly expose people. Nobody's exposed me yet. Nobody's beat me in a debate. Nobody's said anything about me that was true. Nobody's found any dirt on me. Nobody's proven any false statement against me. They've just made blanket false statements. Kind of looks like I'm still winning, bro. Last I checked. Kind of looks like I'm still winning. You know what I mean? Like these motherfuckers right here. They still work in construction. Still, fucking minorities still working bitch ass construction. You know what I mean? Get the fuck out of here. I got a real job. Straight up. I don't know, man. I just, I just think everything's funny, man. I think that energy is funny. Cause it doesn't affect me. It's irrelevant. You know what I mean? But like I said, man, if he sells that fucking trailer, I get this check. Hopefully I get it tomorrow. That would really put me on the road where I'm going. It'd be 500 bucks. I mean, fuck. Then I'm getting paid on like the 25th. So any way you figured it, I'd probably have about like 900 something. You know, or like 900 bucks. Somewhere around there. So I'd have damn near a stack. I just got to get my check. You know, if I don't get it, if something happens or whatever, first of all, they'll fix it at some point. But either way, I'll get it in the next one, which I have it set up for direct deposit. So, I mean, that's the trick is like it's hard to even keep my accounts positive and shit and running because these people keep holding me off. Then then everybody's asking me dumbass questions like they call me for interviews like like I just got money out the ass and can just keep showing up to interviews and have y'all lead me on and then not hire me. Like, motherfucker, these people don't pay until every two weeks out here. Then everybody just acts like, like it just, it's weird to me. You know what I mean? They ask me stupid shit. You know what I mean? They're like, why are you always here? Motherfucker, pay me more and I won't be here. What are you talking about? Like, what the fuck you mean, why am I here? Because y'all fucking pay every two weeks and don't get me out, bitch. What the fuck is you talking about? It's exactly what I said, and then they ignore it. Because you little bitch, you talk shit, and you ain't nothing to nobody, and you never gonna be shit. And you've been working here forever, and you stuck, motherfucker. You talking about, I'm gonna get a car, yeah, my ass. I bet you've been saying that shit for years. You know? That's the whole thing, man, is as time passes, I pay attention to shit. Because... I am in a rush. I'm always in a rush. That's how I move. I move quick. I get shit done. You know what I mean? So, these people, they'll be sitting at the same shit trap for fucking years. You know what I mean? Like a motherfucking idiot. It's fucking incredible. You know? But yeah, not me. You know what I mean? I'm not on that pussy shit. I do something or I get the fuck on. You know what I mean? So... Like I said, man, we'll see what happens, man. They're probably going to keep playing with my fucking hours. We're going to keep G-checking them on here. And it's just that simple. I mean, if I sell that trailer, none of this matters because it don't matter what the fuck they pay me or what hours they give me. It really doesn't. It won't matter because I'm going to have enough money where I can save it and I'm already sitting on some, so I'm heading in the right direction. That's the most important component right now. These people always gonna hold out. They always gonna play their bitch game. But what's gonna happen is, when I get to enough money, I'm gonna turn around and tell everybody, "Fuck y'all." You know what I mean? I'm gonna say, "Y'all sat here and played games about work publicly," and I'm gonna mention everybody's name, everybody's business, like I do to everyone. 
I'm gonna say y'all played games here with work for, for for years with me. Y'all y'all are going out of your way to try to not let me have a livelihood and not be able to accomplish nothing or do anything. And I've worked around it this whole time and done more than anyone. You know what I'm saying? So we've been doing the same shit this whole time. You know what I mean? So it's like, what do you think is gonna change? These motherfuckers had the audacity, bro, to sit there and go, now you're going to be broke for the rest of your life. Explain that one to me. Explain how a dude who, who makes oil money for the rest of his life, like I have to pay my taxes as soon as I can, but other than that, and, and I know I have time for that because I know I've waited a while on that shit before and ain't nothing happened. It just builds up a little bit. So, like I said... I make oil money for life. How am I going to be broke for the rest of my life? Like, where are you getting that from? I keep telling these people, like, bro, you have to understand. I have, I have the, those people I got to deal with, that case bullshit down there that they pulled, that set up shit that I already foiled. All I have to do is go deal with that when I feel like it and walk in they shit and whatever and deal with it and tell them, like, what the fuck do you want me to do? You know what I mean? go do my time or whatever I gotta do and then that's it like I get out I go to my fucking house and that's it you know what I mean and then I gotta just set up a fucking peel box down there or do whatever the fuck I gotta do and I get my checks so I mean what do you mean I'm gonna be broke for the rest of my life I don't understand like, I could make a trip up here and come back up here and do the same shit I'm doing now. This opportunity is, like, always here. I think that's what people don't get. Like, even if I wasn't doing it the way I'm doing it now, I have the ability to just rough it and do the same thing and look for work. I don't understand how somehow in these people's eyes they keep saying that I'm below everyone. How am I below everyone? Since when? I stand six foot two tall, bro. I'm 170 pounds pure muscle, 10 no underground boxing. I have all the resources my creator gave me. What does that have to do with money? And why are you saying I'm below everyone? Like, if you really thought this lowly of me, you wouldn't have to say it every day. People who think lowly of someone, it's just common sense shit. Like, I, I hate even having this discussion because it's so petty and so pathetic. You know, it's like what these people do on YouTube, like... They're so stupid that they're just spewing out ignorance and hatred. And then people watch the shit and they get some views and they think they're someone. I mean, bro, YouTube is a faggot platform. It's not respected. It's like getting fucked in your ass. Y'all will bend over for money. I won't. That's the difference. That's why I don't care about it. You know what I mean? I'm just like, if it's another avenue to try to make some bread, why not do it? Because I'm not getting fucked. But y'all is. Y'all selling your soul right and left for pennies. You know? So like I said, man. Uh, either way, I'll probably have like 900 bucks once shit comes together already. It's taking forever. And yeah, it's a bitch right now. Do you think he'll get some help now? No, I don't. I don't have any faith that he will receive a sufficient jail sentence either. In my opinion, anything short of the Austin State Hospital is unacceptable, yet I know it won't happen. At least he's in jail, and he'll be there for a while. We're all better for that. We are, Dr. Shitstein. We truly are. So, our last speaker tonight finds Tyrese Need complaining about Torchy's tacos, among other things. Sneed's high roller gambler delusion appears in this preaker as well, as he lies about going to Las Vegas for a blackjack tournament. It's really quite rib tickling. And here it is. Anyway, let's get right into this shit. Here's how it works. First of all, fuck Torchy's tacos. I don't eat it, you fucking shithole. I ain't never liked your food. I'm not into this shit. Fuck you, suck a dick. That's number one. Number two, manager's a bitch. Okay? And it was very clear you were a bitch. I even told my dude today, I said, like, I called him, I'm trying to get in there, and they playing fucking games. Because you are. So, it's just unreal. 
the level of fucking audacity these people have and just the level of dick sucking and retardedness. I mean, dude, first of all, you're just a manager at Torchy's. You probably have a 1-800 number like every restaurant and I can report you for discrimination and report you for the host shit you do. That's number one. Number two, knowing me, I probably wouldn't waste my time because I'm busy and not focused on you. Don't give a fuck what you do or say. Kind of the whole point of our conversation that y'all don't get because you think the world revolves around you. You want people to coddle to you and sit there and kiss your fucking ass just because you're a manager somewhere and I ain't doing it because I'm above you and richer than you. So again, pussy, number one, you can pull up and see me anytime, bro. I'm in your city everywhere. I run it. I run the streets in your city. And these motherfuckers never get the point, bro. Like, y'all some straight-up faggots, bro. All y'all. Like, I I wish there was no law. I'd run around kicking niggas' ass all day. All of them. I'd just be fucking them up instead of doing all this talking shit. Y'all just talk. Y'all talk too fucking much. You talk because you got a safety net, ho. Y'all some hoes. You know what I mean? But, like I said, bro, you go and discriminate against me, you know, if it was up to me, if I could, I'd whip your fucking ass. You know what I mean? Just straight up, bro. You know, as a matter of fact, I don't think I'm even too far from your business right now. You know what I'm saying? So just know, bro, I'm around. You know what I mean? I'll be right here, right outside, bitch. You know what I'm saying? You a hoe. It's as simple as that. You know what I mean? Because this dude is like, just playing fucking games, man. Like, I work at night, bro. I'm dead fucking tired. You know what I mean? My job is a real job. We do real shit. And this motherfucker is talking about, because I call him back, because he says the time to meet, like, once, okay, which I actually think I do remember, but I'm trying to double check, because normally, people who know what they're doing, if they're a manager, they text you the time, nobody just says it once, because people are going to forget that, because people are not concerned about what you talk about, like, people, this is the problem with people, they want their bullshit to be your first priority, bro, I'm already looking into a fucking Vegas tournament for blackjack. For all these cocksuckers who keep talking shit, I'm already looking into a Vegas tournament for blackjack. Like, right now, I don't have a lot of cash on me, but I'm going to go try to get this bank account positive because what I realize is that I'm going to need it to book my fucking hotel. And I'm going to need it for Lyft and all that shit. So I'm just going to go pay my balance, which is like $50 negative, I think, or some shit, and get that out the fucking way. Then I'm going to go work out, and then I work tonight. You know what I mean? And I'll probably make a little bit of cash. Probably won't be much, but I'll make something, you know? But I just want to say this motherfucker's a bitch, and I'll beat your fucking ass. It's as simple as that. You a hoe like all these fucking hoes out here. And it's just that simple. You know what I mean? This shit crazy, man. It really is. It's the same old bitch-ass attitude over and over again. All they try to do is hold you back. You know what I mean? The shit in Vegas is going to be totally complimentary. That's what's so fucking funny. That's why I got into that shit, because I know there's parts to it. Dummy. I text him and told him straight up. So I already know what they're bro. It's just a little jealous of the bitches that matter fuck to see anyone who's trying to come up. You know what I mean? The way I see it more is like this. I'm in control of my money. As soon as I pay this right now. What I could do is I could deposit my checks in there into my savings and all that shit. So I'm in control of my money, so no one can tell me what to do with my money. I don't have to worry about that bullshit, you know what I'm saying, unless I bring money somewhere else, you know what I mean, which I might do on top of what I'm doing. But here's the point, long story short, how do I put this? Because y'all, 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 is, y'all is not understanding, man. Y'all going to get it at some point. You know what I mean? Y'all gonna get it at some point. Even if I have to lose this job, I'm probably going to that Vegas tournament. 
because if it's all complimentary, I might do well, and I know that I have the ability to do well in it, and I may do well, and, you know what I mean? I think even, like, if you get, like, last place, you still get, like, $750. It's just that it's in casino play or some shit like that. So, whatever the fuck that means, if it means you can play on tables, I gotta ask. If it means slots, I don't know. But either way you figure it, you can win $15,000 if you get first place in this tournament. I'm good at blackjack. I have a gift with it. I could win. I know I can. So, like I said, all this shit out here chump shit because all they try to do is close doors on you. You know what I mean? So, if they try to close the door on me where I'm at, then they close the door. I mean, I'm expecting that anyway because all these people bitch made. It's all the same shit, bro. They just hate you out of shit. Like, bro, I ain't got time for y'all, man. You know what I mean? I really don't. You know what I mean? If I got to just do fucking temp work, uh, you know what I mean? They even hate me out of that. Like, y'all some hoes, bro. Y'all don't want to see a motherfucker advance. That's all y'all doing is cutting people's legs out from underneath them all the time. I got a mansion. I'm good. I'll go deal with those fucking the pieces of shit down there and take care of that shit. I don't care. You know what I mean? Go try to get a job down there. You know what I mean? Oil's already going up again. On top of everything else. Well, they talking all this shit every fucking day. It's always the same, bro. You know what I mean? Y'all talking about donate plasma. I'll go back to no donating plasma. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Because I'm working my ass off and never have shit to show for it. You know what I mean? I mean, I do, but I'm just not able to do what I want to do right now in this little short time period. Because these motherfuckers always fucking cutting the fucking opportunity out from underneath me. Yeah, fuck you. Try to run me over. End up dead in the box, motherfucker. Fuck these pussies. All of them. Bunch of pussy ass bitches. That's all they are here. Fuck them. But, like I said, long story short, all these motherfuckers do is talk every day, talk shit. You know what I mean? I'm gonna get a check on Friday. Um, I'm gonna try to deposit that, at least like 70% of that, um, into that savings. Every time I get a check, I'm going to try to put like 70% of that check at least, if not more, into a savings. I'm probably going to go back to where I'm working out for free, where I was at. Um, Not pay rent at all right now and just keep it up, keep it going. Because I'm in control of my money, so nobody can tell me shit. So the minute I want to jet, I jet. You know what I mean? If I need to fucking pay my rent, then whatever, I'll just get fucked with on what I'm doing, and that's about it. It'll just bring me down a notch, that's it. That's all, that's all that they can do. They can't stop shit. So I figured it out. So, you know, it's going to be a struggle right now to get to fucking Friday. But once I get there, we good, we made it. You know what I mean? So fuck them. You know what I mean? And really, it's going to continue to be a struggle because I'm going to be trying to save money, not be spending it. You know what I mean? But that's the goal. And then, like I said, this tournament, by the time it rolls around, it's just not too far from now, but it's not right around the corner either. By the time this tournament rolls around, I'll see what I'm going to do with the trailer shit. And, uh, I don't know. That's about it. See how much money I can get in that fucking bank account between now and then. Bitch. Bitch ass niggas. Everywhere I turn. Bunch of fucking bitches. But yeah, fuck you. Fuck uh, that manager at that fucking Torchies. Y'all brand new and already I hear business is slow. Ha ha, fuck you. You ain't making no money. Suck my dick. I fucking run circles around all you motherfuckers. The CEO of your company I've spent and made more money than he'll ever dream of. Suck my dick. Bitch. And because I have such a high fucking gambling profile in Vegas because I'm one of the highest motherfucker, I can go to complimentary tournaments. Fuck you. Fuck your hate. What now? Pussy. I don't even have to pay anything for my hotel. They give me a hotel for like three nights. Complimentary. 
the tournament is only like three nights, I think, or some shit like that. So I'll do the tournament, see what I come out with. I'll come out with something with casino play. I can either sit there and use it or, or ask them how long it lasts. You know what I mean? And put it on hold. I'm probably going to want to use it because I don't trust them. You know what I mean? And then I can see what I can win cash by playing more. You know what I mean? Probably do it right before I leave and then get out. You know what I mean? Get back and see whether or not they're going to fire me or not. Because, I mean, I'm not going to be around for that time. I'm going to tell them. I'm going to tell them I'm leaving. I'm going to tell them i, I got to do this. It's just something that I need to do. So that's what I'm looking at doing. Um, if any other variables come out, I'll see about it if I'm going to do it or not. But, I mean, the way I see it between now and then, I should be able to stack up a decent amount of money. I mean, at least, like over two grand it's possible you know what I'm saying so I mean if I could do that and like I said all I gotta do is pay for my ticket over there get over there play that tournament see what I get out of it if I win the grand prize $15,000 if it's if it's play on the tables then I'm I'm sitting down at that point with 15 grand in fucking uh, chips you know what I mean? Tickets, however the fuck they do it. But I'll be sitting down with that much money. Now, they may rig it where the tickets are worth too much, where you're either winning or you're getting fucked and losing all your shit. I may get nothing out the deal, but it's worth checking out because there's a chance that I could. And if you get 15 grand, I mean, I don't care if they split that all up in $100 tickets. You know what I mean? Even if they do more, you have a chance to fucking win a lot of money because all you got to do is win a hand and whatever that amount is, you just won feel me and maybe more depending on what table you're on so i want to go look into it if i can fuck this up bullshit this slow shit it is extraordinary to think that there are 286 more spreaker files on this channel tyrese need has more shit than a septic tank yes he does dr joey shit stayed thank you sir and to all of you i'm rich baritone good night <laughs>